another guest banned from Carnival Cruise Line. Royal Caribbean says we're not canceling and the World Cruise Company being taken to court at a rest area in Georgia. Cruise News Today starts now. From the Cruise Radio Studio in Jacksonville, Florida, this is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Monday, January 22nd. And another Carnival Cruise Line guest proves why we can't have nice things. A woman on the second sailing of Carnival Jubilee is now banned from the cruise line after a video surfaced showing her climbing over the stateroom balcony and standing on an overhanging roof on deck eight. Carnival has identified the guests involved in this stunt and told Cruz Radio in a statement, quote, our security team on Carnival Jubilee identified the guests involved in this matter, and those guests will no longer be sailing on Carnival ships. It went on to say the safety of everyone on board is our priority, and we will not tolerate this behavior. Royal Caribbean has addressed circulating talk among its guests regarding the possible early termination of its current Ultimate World Cruise. Now, contrary to speculation, the cruise line confirmed that the 270-night cruise will complete its full global itinerary. The rumors had emerged following recent cancellations in the Red Sea due to regional conflicts and risks to shipping. Royal Caribbean has emphasized the safety of its guests and crew, stating that they continuously monitor situations and will inform guests of any necessary itinerary adjustments. The ship is currently not scheduled to reach the Red Sea until May. And the world cruise that was canceled late last year by Life at Sea Cruises is now heading to court. Nearly 100 guests that purchased the three-year cruise are now facing financial and housing issues. This includes a couple still stuck in Istanbul, a passenger forced to move to Ecuador, and a man delaying cancer treatment over the lack of funds. They are part of a group of 78 guests who have asked the U.S. attorney to investigate Murray Cruises for potentially defrauding them. As you may recall, the cruise was called off last November because Murray didn't acquire a suitable vessel, leaving passengers who invested from $90,000 to a million dollars without refunds. Most have not received the promised reimbursements, resulting in a few living on continuous cruises. Their fate is now in the hands of the court system. And cruise line stocks were up on Friday. Carnival Corporation up slightly 17.33. Royal Caribbean up 1.4%, 127.00. Norwegian up the same, 17.76. If you have a story, drop us a line. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Here at a truck stop in Georgia, I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great Monday.